Uh, let's start in a comfortable cross-legged seat. Close your eyes, bring your palms to rest down on your thighs. You can lift up the flesh of your bum so that your sits bones root down into the earth. Really find a firm foundation here. Feel supported, feel connected. Feeling your body press down into the earth. Feel how the earth is rising up to support you. Find balance, equal weight in each side of your body. With your eyes closed, just start to breathe in and out through your nose. Starting to tune in to subtle sounds, sensations, feeling your toes, your ankles, your legs, your hips. Feel your fingers, your arms, your shoulders. Breathing into your physical body, start to release and relax, letting go of any clenching, any tension, any tightness, softening your body. Then start to deepen your breath, sending your breath down into your belly, filling up your lungs, feeling your heart open, the crown of your head rise. Then exhaling, releasing, letting the breath wash out from the top all the way back down to the body, feeling your shoulders relax away from your ears. Inhaling, fill up from the bottom all the way up to the top, visualizing your breath. Then exhaling from the top all the way back down to the bottom. Keep breathing in and out like this. So lately I've just been sitting in silence and meditating on being with whatever is there. Knowing that everything that I need is within me. Most of the worry and stress is all just a state of our mind. It's all just a state of our, our being, and we cause so much unneeded tension, unneeded worry, just within our thoughts, by holding on to things for too long or not letting them pass through us. So with every exhale, how can you let whatever is no longer serving you, whatever is no longer building you up, just pass through you? Instead of clinging to, a, to it with anger, with fear, with trying to resolve it, just letting it go. Seneca said, True happiness is to enjoy the present. Without anxious dependence on the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. For he that is so wants nothing. The greatest blessings of mankind are within us. So tapping into this truth that everything you need, all your greatest joys, are already within you. Maybe we just need to clear out the cobwebs that are holding us back from experiencing this present moment, from experiencing this light, this joy that already lives with inside you. Let's take three breaths here together. Filling up, feeling your physical body, feeling into this present moment. 
Open your mouth, sigh out. <sighs> Whatever no longer serves, letting it go. Squeezing out every little back ounce of air, maybe sucking your belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, then fill back up from the bottom all the way up to the top. Open your mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Try one more breath here, inhale. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Good. And drop your chin down towards your chest, keeping your eyes closed. Then rock your right ear over to your right shoulder, drawing down with your left shoulder. We'll make little half crescent moon shapes. With your right ear, reaching over towards your right shoulder, dropping your chin towards your chest, reaching back, rocking back and forth. If you need to pause in any areas that you'd like to stretch into, you can just Pause there. Keep drawing your left shoulder down. Keep lifting your spine tall, opening through your heart. Maybe your hands grab onto your knees so that your heart tractions forward. Inhale, come back up through center, and then we'll rock your left ear over to your left shoulder. Reach your right shoulder down, then make those little half crescent moon shapes here. Rocking your head back and forward. Keep breathing. Staying present right here, right now. If you need to pause and stretch into any areas of tightness, you can just hold there. And inhale, lift up through center. Inhale to reach your arms up and overhead. Reach up, gaze up. Exhale, release your right fingertips over to your right side. Maybe your form lowers down to the ground. Reach your left arm up and over. Send your gaze up and inside your left elbow. Take a big breath in. Reach long through your left fingertips. Exhale, fold in a little bit deeper. Hold here for one more breath. Roll your left shoulder back. Inhale, press through your left palm. Lift up. Press your fingertips up and overhead. Exhale, release your left hand down. Reach your right arm up and over. Roll your right shoulder back. Take a big breath in and reach long through your right fingertips, gazing up inside your left elbow. Maybe you lower down to your Left forearm if it feels good. One more breath cycle here. Inhale. Hold for your exhale. Press into your left palm. Inhale, lift up. Reach up, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Releasing your forehead down to the mat. Breathing into your back side body here. Maybe you walk your fingertips out a little bit further. Press your hips back and down. Grounding down into your palms. Breath in. Exhale, breath out. Good. Inhale. Walk your fingertips back up and then just switch the cross of your legs. It's going to feel a little bit awkward, so put the awkward foot in front. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Press into your palms so that your hips reach back and down. Try to keep your sits bones grounded into the earth as you rest your forehead down to the mat or release it closer towards the earth. Breathing into your backside body. Take two breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, walk your fingertips back up, come to sit. One more big breath in, inhale to reach. Exhale, walk your hands back out in front, and then we'll come to tabletop pose, stacking your hips over your knees, your shoulders over your wrists. Spread your fingertips wide, taking a couple of cat cows here. Inhale to lift your head and tailbone high. Exhale, press the earth away. 
Inhale, lift up. Let your belly fall. Exhale, press the earth away. Keeping your eyes closed, going inward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, curl and contract. Squeeze all the breath out, belly button to spine. Good. Inhale to lift and then take some more organic movement. So if it feels good to keep moving up and down, feel free. But if you'd like to rock from side to side, make some circles with your hip, circles with your head and neck, whatever would feel good. Moving with your breath. Reaching your heart forward, maybe you drawing your hips back. Feeling into your body this morning and just noticing where you feel tight, where your body likes to store tension. And sending breath and love into those places and being really present with your body here and just staying with whatever comes up. Take one more breath here and then come back to center. Inhale to ground down through your left palm. Reach your right fingertips up high towards the sky. Stack your right shoulder up on top of the left. Feel a side body stretch here. Feel a lengthening from your hips all the way up to your shoulder, then rotating your heart open towards the right. Reach up, gaze up, press down into your left palm as you take another breath in. Exhale, slowly thread the needle, drawing your right shoulder down towards the earth. Extend your left arm up and over your left ear towards the front of the room. Your hips are lifting up and back. Deepening your breath, press your right arm down into the ground, activating a little bit of a twist here. Good, stay here. Maybe you start to extend your left leg straight up and back. Keep grounding down into your right foot, pressing your right foot actively down into the ground. Inhaling, maybe your left, lift, left leg lifts. Finding a little bit of balance here. Take one more breath. Exhale, if you lifted your leg, lower it down. Drag your left palm back underneath your left shoulder. Inhale, lift your right hand high. Exhale, lowers your right palm down. Find your foundation, ground down into your right palm. Inhale, lift your left arm high. Twist your heart open. Then feel that stretch, drawing your left hip back. Feeling your side body stretch, feeling your heart open. Gazing up, press into your right palm. Lift your left fingertips a little bit higher. Take a big breath in. Exhale, slowly thread the needle, lowering your left shoulder down. Square off your hips. Keep them lifting high. Then extend your right arm up and over your right ear towards the front of the room. Pressing your left arm down into the earth. Activating that twist. Feeling the back of your left shoulder start to roll down. Your heart start to spiral open. Take a big breath in. Maybe you lift your right leg up and back this time. Keep pressing down through your left foot. Right leg lifts up towards the sky. Deepen your breath. One more big breath in. Exhale, lower your right knee back down towards the ground. Lower your right hand back underneath your right shoulder. Inhale, lift your left fingertips high. Unwind, reach up. Exhale, plant your left hand down. Good. In our tabletop pose here, tuck your toes underneath your heels and then just lift your knees one inch up off the mat. So we're in our beast pose, starting to activate through our core here. Walk your knees forward so that they come underneath your belly button. Lengthening your tailbone back, the crown of your head forward. Then dragging the heels of your hands towards your knees, your knees towards your hands, activating this core, hugging your belly button in towards your spine. Breathe. Take a breath in, breath out. Then point your right toes towards the back of the room. Just lift them one inch up off the mat. Good. Exhale, lower them down. Then point your left toes towards the back of the room. They just lift one inch off the ground. Good. Keep your butt low. Your spine is parallel towards the earth. Lower your toes down. Good. Ground down into your left palm. Lift your right hand 
one inch up off the mat. Hands are so much harder than feet, I don't know why. Lower your right hand down, lift your left hand just one inch off the mat. Good. All right, find your foundation, right toes lift, left hand lift. You're balancing on your left toes and your right palm. Good, lower down. Lift your left toes, lift your right hand. Find your balance, lower down. Good, then we're gonna walk our beast. So right toes, left hand, just walk it out. Tiny, the tiniest little beast steps, little one inch steps, lifting your opposite hand and your opposite foot. Good, keep your core engaged, your butt low. Move here for five. You guys look awesome for four, for three, for two, and one, lower down, drop your butt back towards your heels. Good, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, clasp your hands at your back. Don't press your palms together, leave them open, stretching your wrists. Reach the clasp towards the earth, lift up through your heart, maybe you lift your chin. Good, roll your shoulders back and down. Then release the clasp, come back down. Spread your fingertips wide. Good. Inhale, lift your right fingertips forward. Extend your left leg back. Beautiful. Like you're shaking someone's hand, your right thumb points up. Extend long through your left heel, flexing your left toes towards the ground. Take a big breath in. Exhale, curl and contract. Draw your elbow towards your knee. Good. Inhale, slow and control, lengthen. Good. And then you've, like you've got rubber bands attached to your fingertips and to your heels, and you're pulling these rubber bands in. Exhale, curl and contract. Then release, extend long. Big breath in. Exhale, curl and contract. Pull in. Good. One more time. Inhale to extend and hold here. Go with your left leg extended. Start to bend your left knee. Reach your right arm back. Maybe you catch the top of your left foot. Press down into your left hand. Lift your heart. Maybe you start to kick your foot into your hand, lifting your left leg a little bit higher, opening through your right shoulder. Good. Maybe you smile. Yay. Big breath in. Exhale. Release your foot and extend long. Lower everything down. Good. Next inhale, lift your left arm high. Point your left, hand, your left thumb up towards the sky. Extend your right leg straight back. Good. Really lengthen through your fingertips and through your heels. See if you can grow any longer, like you're being pulled. Then attach those rubber bands. Rubber bands attached to the front and to the back. So you're to your fingers and to your heel. And then you're going to pull these rubber bands in so that you move slow Exhale, curling and contract, elbow to knee. Then move slow, don't slingshot out. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, curl and contract. Big breath in, extend long. Exhale, slowly pulling in. Inhale, reach. Good, hold here, your right knee bends. Left hand reaches back to catch the top of your right foot. Press into your right hand, lift your heart. Maybe you kick your right foot into your hand and lift up a little higher. Good, keep breathing here. Big breath in. Exhale, release your foot, extend long. Lower everything down. Good. Take a little side to side, drawing your head towards your tailbone. Feeling this side stretch here. Your head reaches over to the left, your tailbone to the left, then switch sides. Head to the right, tailbone to the right. Come back through center. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Press into your hands. Exhale, step your right toes to the back of the mat. Inhale, rotate your right arm open for supported side plank. Press your left foot down into the ground and find your foundation here. Right shoulder stacking up on top of the left. Big breath in. Exhale. Good. Next inhale, just lift your right foot up to hover up off the mat. Try and bring your right leg to parallel towards the earth. Keep rotating your right shoulder open up on top of the left and hold here. Inhale. 
Hold for your exhale. Inhale. Exhale, start to rotate your right toes towards the front of the room. You're going to create a 90 degree angle. Your heart is still lifting. Your right arm is still lifting. Point your right toes towards the front. Right toes point towards the front. I'm going to stay here until I see everybody's toes. <laughs> Good. Take a big breath in. Holding here. Exhale, rotate your right foot back. Point your heel back towards the swan. Press into your left hand, then bend your right knee. Your right hand, this time, clasps the top of your right foot. So you're in a little baby half-bound side plank bow. <laughs> Press your foot into your hand and open your heart towards the right. Find your balance here. Maybe you send your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, hold. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, release your right foot, extend everything long. Right arm reaches, right foot reaches. Then roll everything back down, tabletop pose. Good. Woo, catch your breath, inhale. Next breath in, lift your left leg high. Flex through your left toes, point them towards the earth. Then step them towards the back of the mat. Turn your left toes down. Inhale your left arm high for supported side plank. Find your foundation here. Pressing your right shin and the top of your right foot down into the mat. Stacking your left shoulder on top of the right. Next inhale, lift your left leg up to hover. Try and bring your left leg parallel towards the earth. Flex through your left toes. Press your heel back towards the swan. And turn your left toes over towards the left side of the room. Keep pressing down into your right hand, lifting up through your left fingertips. Maybe you gaze up towards your left palm. Breath in. Exhale, rotate your left toes forward. So your left toes are coming towards your face. If you look forward, you can see your toes pointing straight forward. Good, you guys. Keep pressing into your right hand, lifting through your left heel. It wants to lower down, but try to keep it parallel towards the earth and breathe. One more breath in. Exhale, send it back. Bend your left knee. Catch the top of your left foot with your left hand. Kick your left hand into your left, your left foot into your left hand. Finding your foundation. Activating through your core, open your heart towards the left side of the room. Deepen your breath. Inhale into your heart center. Exhale, release and lengthen everything. Reach your left fingertips up. Then roll back down. Tabletop pose. We haven't even stood up yet, guys. <laughs> Tuck your toes. Press your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Settle your dog out here. Rock your hips from side to side. Press into the outside edges of your hips. Good. Slow down your breath. Make sure your fingers are spread wide. Pressing into the knuckles of your hands. Feeling your thumb and your index finger. When we press into our knuckles, it takes some pressure out of our wrists. Let your heart melt back towards the top of your thighs. Release and relax your neck. Shake your head, yes. And shake your head, no. Good, tiptoe your toes up to the top of the mat. Ragdoll, keep your feet hips width distance apart and grab for opposite elbows. You can keep a slight bend in your knees here. If it feels good to straighten your legs, feel free. Sway from side to side. And then release your hands down, heel toe, your big toes to touch. One inch between your heels, inhale to halfway lift, lengthen your spine, palms press into your shins. Roll your shoulders back and down. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle your arms to stand, palms press up overhead. Reach up, gaze up. Exhale, swan dive all the way back down. Moving slow and with our breath, inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen your spine, palms press either into your shins or into the floor. But we press our palms so that our spine can lengthen. 
Belly button towards your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle to stand. Reach up, gaze up. Exhale, swan dive all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back, plank pose. Good. Find your alignment, shoulders stacking over your wrists, belly button towards your spine. Your hips are in line with your shoulders. Good, you guys look awesome. Straighten through your legs and then rock your weight onto your tippy toes so that your gaze comes out to the top edge of your mat. The back of your neck is long. Breath in. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower all the way down to the floor. Releasing, untucking your toes, press the tops of your feet down into the ground. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Good. Exhale, lengthen your spine as you lower down. One more time, just like that. Inhale, lift up for baby cobra. Roll your shoulders back and down, drawing your shoulder blades together and down on your back. Maybe your hands hover up off the mat this time. Good. Exhale, lengthen your spine as you lower down. Then extend your left fingertips out in front. Plant your left palm down onto the ground. Then bend your right knee. Reach your right hand back to clasp for the top of your right foot. Good. Then inhale to lift your heart. Kick your right foot into your right hand for this half-bound bow. Lift your left fingertips up off the ground. Lift your heart. Keep breathing here. Foot kicking into your hand, rolling your shoulder back and down. Big breath in. Exhale, slowly lowers you down. Release your right foot down and switch. Right hand reaches out in front. Left knee bends. Left hand reaches back, clasping for the outside edge of your left foot. Good. Inhale, lifts up. Kick your left foot into your left hand. Then reach your right fingertips up. Keep your hips square to the earth. Take a big breath in to lift and kick. Exhale, slowly releases and lowers down. Send both hands out in front. Big breath in. Exhale, bend both knees, reach both hands back. Clasp for the outside edges of your feet. Roll your shoulders back and down, then start to kick your feet into your hands, lifting your heart, lifting your knees and your thighs up, up, up above the mat. Good. Beautiful, you guys. Lift your heart. Keep breathing here. You'll feel your breath coming into your belly. Hold here for one more breath cycle. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release and lower down. Good. Lower your left ear down to the mat. Release your fingers down towards your hips. Big breath in. Exhale, bring your forehead back to center. We'll press up one more time. Bend both of your knees. Your hands are already reaching back. Cross for the outside edges of your feet. Kick your feet into your hands. Inhale, lift your heart. Lots of back bending today. They're super energizing. So you're going to walk around super energized, light. You're feeling amazing today. Keep breathing here. Good. Kicking your feet into your hands. Lift your heart. Hold for one more breath cycle. Exhale. Release and lower down. Your right ear releases down to the mat this time. Reach your hands back for your hips. Take a big slow inhale like a big sip of water. Releasing. Exhale. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under your heels. Press up, plank pose. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale to halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale, circle your arms to stand, palms press up and overhead. Exhale, bend your knees, chair pose. Rock your weight back into your heels. And maybe all ten toes lift up off the mat as you you press your heart back, maybe stacking it over your hips, hugging your knees together like you're holding a piece of paper between your legs. Spiral your pinkies in towards the midline, reaching your arms back for your ears. Hold for your breath in. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back through Chaturanga, lowering to hover, hugging your elbows in towards your rib cage. Inhale, lift your heart high to upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhale, presses you back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Turn your left toes down for warrior one. Press into the outside edge of your left foot. Inhale to lift up. Good. Make sure your right toes are pointing straight forward and your left foot is down on the ground, including your left heel. So press into the left edge of your left foot and then use that pressure in the outside edge of your foot to draw your right hip back, your left hip forward. Bending a little deeper into your right knee. Activate through your core. Take a big breath in. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Lift up onto your left tippy toes. Plant your left hand down. Twist your right arm open. Easy twist. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Then turn onto the left edge of your foot. Turn all ten toes to the right side of the room. Feeling that stretch in the outside edge of your right hip. Press your hips high. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come back through center, turning all ten toes towards the front of the room. Inhale. Lifts up high. Crescent lunge. Power through your left leg and activate through your inner thighs. Left leg is straight and strong. Bend a little deeper into your right knee as your shoulders rest away from your ears. Good. Hold for your breath in. Exhale. Twist your right arm back, your left arm forward, twisting open towards the right. Keep bending into your right knee. Holding here. Inhale. Hold for your exhale. Inhale. Exhale to reverse left, right palm to your left thigh. Reach your left arm up and back. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Frame your right foot. Step back, plank pose. Flow through your chaturanga. Moving with breath. Slow and with intention. Staying present in your body. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. All right, next inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Turn your right toes down for warrior one. Press into the outside edge of your right foot, then inhale, lift your heart. Good, keep your right heel down on the mat as you press into that outside edge of your right foot. Use this traction to reach your left hip back, your right hip forward this time. Squaring your hips off towards the front of the room. Good. Deepen your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Fold over your leg. Come onto your right tippy toes. Right hand plants down. Inhale. Easy twist. Left arm lifts. Breathing here. Inhale. Exhale. Then turn your all ten toes to the left side of the room this time, coming onto the edge of your right foot. Flex through your right toes. Inhale. Press into the outside edge of your left hip this time. Left arm stays reaching up. Press your hips high and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Come back through center, lowering everything back down. Inhale. Lift up high. Crescent lunge. Power through your right leg. Bend a little deeper into your left knee. Dropping your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale. Exhale. Twist your left arm back, your right arm forward. Opening your heart towards the left side of the room. Good. Keep bending into your left knee as you breathe. Inhale. Exhale to reverse. Left hand releases to the top of your right thigh. Right arm reaches up and back. Good. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Frame your left foot. Step back and flow through your vinyasa. Beautiful, you guys. Stay present with your body and with your breath. Meeting back, downward facing dog. Step or hop to the top of your mat. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, chair pose, lift your heart. Reach your arms back for your ears. Rock your weight back into your heels and turn your tailbone down towards the ground. You'll feel your core fire up when you do this. Take a big breath in. Exhale to stand. Bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes. Reconnect with the present moment, knowing that everything you need is within. So breathe into that truth. Inhale, circle your arms up and overhead. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms plant, step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhaling to lift your heart high through your version of a back bend, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, curl in, knee to nose, slow and controlled. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale to twist, right knee to your left elbow. Good. Inhale, kick your right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee to your right elbow, shift forward. Good, inhale, lift it up and back. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Stay on your left tippy toes. Inhale, lift up, high crescent lunge. Good, powering into that left leg, straighten, lifting the back of your left knee towards the sky, and then deepen the bend into your right knee. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release your hands to clasp at your lower back. Reach the clasp towards the earth as you open your heart. Breathe in. Exhale for humble warrior, dragging your right shoulder inside of your right knee. Relax your head and neck. Reaching your crown of your head down towards your right big toe. Maybe the clasp of your hand lifts up off your sacrum, extending your hands up and over towards your head. Hold for your breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Left hand plants, right arm twists open. Reach your right fingertips up high towards the sky. Go ahead and turn all ten toes to the right side of the room. Press your hips high and feel that stretch in the outside edge of your right hip. Keep flexing through your left toes as you transition into side plank or supported side plank, stacking your right foot up on top of the left. For supported side plank, just lower your left knee down to the ground like we did at the beginning of class. Good. Take a breath in. Lift your hips high. Exhale. Lowers your right palm down. Pausing here. Take a big breath in. Exhale to lower chaturanga. Inhale. Lift your heart high. Exhale. Back. Downward facing dog. Good. Inhale. Left leg lifts. Exhale, curl in, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up and back. Exhale to twist, left knee to your right elbow or your right tricep. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Stand your right tippy toes. Inhale, lift up, high crescent lunge. Power through your right leg. Right leg straight and strong. Bend a little deeper into your left knee. Go ahead, take a breath, breath in. Exhale, breath out. Release your hands to clasp but your lower back. Take the awkward clasp, the opposite thumb on top. Press your palms together and inhale to reach the clasp towards the earth. Open your heart. Exhale, fold in, dragging your left shoulder inside of your left knee. Relax your head and neck down. Good. Draw your left hip. Back and down. So your left hip wants to kind of pop out to the left side. Can you draw it a little bit in and underneath your torso? Take one more breath here. Exhale, release your hands down. Right palm plants, left hand twists open. Easy twist, opening your heart towards the left. Inhale. Exhale, turn all ten toes to the left side of the room. Come onto the edge of your right foot. Lift your hips high. Breath in. Exhale, step your left foot back for side plank or supported side plank, lowering your right knee down. Try to take the same variation that you took on the other side, lifting your hips high, rotating your left shoulder up on top of the right. 
Big breath in. Exhale, lowers your right palm down. Pause in your plank pose. Hold here for your breath in. Exhale, bend your elbows, lowering to hover, chaturanga. Inhale, your heart high. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Good. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, circle your arms to stand. Exhale, drag them through heart center. Good. So we've been doing lots of heart opening today, preparing for our peak pose, which is going to be dancer. So we're going to stand here on our feet with our hands at our heart. Ground down into your right foot. Actually, bring your hands to your hips, then bend your left knee. Release your left hand out like you're holding a tray. So your left palm will face up towards the sky. Then reach it inside to grab for the inside edge of your left foot. Then square your hips off towards the earth. Drop your left knee down so it's pointing straight down towards the ground. Inhale, reach your right, your right fingertips up towards the sky. Try to keep this same lift with your heart as you start to kick your left foot into your left hand. Keep lifting up, drawing that left hip down, pointing your left knee down towards the ground. Good, you guys. Beautiful. Keep breathing here. Keep lifting up through your heart, kicking your foot into your hand. Y'all look amazing. Let's hold here for two more breath cycles. If you fall out, you just come right back in. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly releases. Step it down. Shake out your legs. Shake out your right leg. Good. And then we'll move to the other side. Grounding down into your left foot, left hand. On your hip, bend your right knee and open your right hand out towards the side like you're holding a tray. Your palm faces up. Then reach your right hand inside of your right foot. So you're on the arch side of your foot, grabbing over the top. Then drop your right hip down towards the earth. Your right knee points straight down. So try to keep your hips square instead of popping your right hip up. Right, then extend your left fingertips up towards the sky and keep this lift with your heart as you start to kick your right foot into your right hand. Lifting up, breathing. Good, you guys. Finding your foundation in the sole of your left foot, lifting your heart high. Taking two more breath cycles here. Take a big breath in. Exhale, keep lifting high, big breath in. Exhale, releasing your right foot down towards the ground. Shake out your legs. Give them a little shake, nice work. Beautiful. Inhale, circle your arms up to touch up and overhead. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold all the way down. Then heel toe your feet wide, toes pointing out, heels slightly angled and Bend your knees, drop your hips between your heels. For yogi squat, bring your hands toward your heart. Good. Let your hips melt down towards the earth, dropping in between your heels as your heart lifts. Try and rock your, lift your heart up just a little bit more. Then release your right fingertips inside your right knee to plant outside of your right pinky toe. Inhale, twist your left arm open. Send your gaze up toward your left fingertips. Good. Deepen your breath. Inhale. Exhale, come back through center. Hands to your heart. Release your left hand inside of your left knee, outside of your left pinky toes. Inhale, reach your right arm high. Twisting your heart open towards the right. Send your gaze up. Breath in. Exhale, release down. Then plant your hands down. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Coming into lizard pose. So both hands are inside of your right knee. You can stay in active lizard with your left knee lifted up off the ground or lower your left knee down towards the ground. Hug your right knee in towards your right shoulder. Your left toes Point straight back if your left knee is released down towards the ground. Good. Maybe you lower down to forearms. For a couple breaths, keep hugging your right knee in towards your right shoulder. Good. 
Deepen your breath. One more breath here, inhale. Tuck your left toes, step your right foot back to meet the left. Option to flow through vinyasa or just meet back in downward facing dog. Good, and then we'll just step or hop your feet back up into that yogi squat. Feet come outside of your hands, drop your hips low. Good, this time your palms will plant down inside of your feet and then step your right foot to the back of your mat for lizard pose. Take the same variation that you took on the other side, so either staying active or lowering your right knee down towards the ground. Hug your left knee in towards your left shoulder. Maybe lowering down to your forearms. Slowing down your breath. One more big inhale here. Plant your hands. If you move, like to move through your last vinyasa, tuck your right toes, step your left foot back to meet the right. Vinyasa or no vinyasa, we'll meet back in downward facing dog. And step or hop your feet up to the top of your mat, bend your knees, lower your butt all the way down to the ground and roll onto your back. Good. Plant your feet down on the earth. Then cross your right ankle over your left quad. Then draw your left knee up and in towards your chest. Clasp your hands around the back of your left thigh or in front of your left shin. Flex through both of your feet. Then press your right knee away from your face for reclined pigeon. Try to keep your shoulders and your head down on the earth. One more breath here, inhale. Then release the clasp of your knee, lowering your left foot down to the ground. Cross your right leg all the way up and over your left knee and rock your knees over to the left. For a recline twist, open your arms out to a T, Close your eyes and turn your head to the right. Take a breath in. Exhale, come back through center. We'll switch the class of our legs. So you're Left ankle will cross up and over your right quad. Draw your right knee up and in towards your face. Grab behind your right thigh or in front of your right shin. Grabbing for your shin is going to intensify this stretch. So if it's too intense, just move your hands to your thigh. Keep your shoulders and your head on the ground as you press your left knee away from your face. Flex through your left foot. One more breath. And then release your right foot down to the ground. And you'll cross your left leg all the way up and over your right leg. Dropping your knees over to the right. Turn your head to the left.
One more breath. Inhale, come back through center and cross your legs. If you'd like to take a happy baby or any other pose to complete your practice this morning, take a few moments here. Happy baby, grab for the outside edge of your feet, drawing your knees down towards the earth. There's a couple variations here you can take. Sometimes I like to just stay still and press my tailbone down towards the ground to release my lower back. Or you can rock from side to side, maybe straightening and through one leg and then the other. Whenever you're ready, Letting your feet go, letting them release down to the end of your mat. Your hands rest away from your body at your side. Or take whatever shape would feel good in your body to find complete relaxation. Allowing your body to just release and relax so that you may receive here. So that you can let everything go and feel how supported you are. Feel your bones and your blood and your muscles, everything grow heavy. With your eyes closed, relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders, your hips, your feet. Stay here as long as you need. Shavasana.